Alienation is referred to by Marx as a mistake, a defect which ought not to be. Marx argues that alienation is experienced by all classes and that the acceptance of communism is a relevant measure since it will eliminate it. Although, of course, the experience of alienation amongst the classes does vary in terms of lifestyle and position financially and in society, not surprisingly, the proletariat are those who experience it at a higher degree. Marx argues that alienation can be experienced whether the individual knows that they are experiencing it or not, if the labor of the individual is not free or autonomous, and an establishment of their individuality, it is forced, and therefore alienation is experienced. He sees alienation as both a social and material process that has arisen from the division of labor. There are four main themes of alienation in the reading. 1. Workers are alienated from the objects of their work. They produce surplus value which empowers the capitalists against them. Capital is increased and this is used against worker interests because the capitalists invest in machines that make work less skilled and squeezes greater productivity out of workers. Two. Workers are alienated from the activity of working. The worker is forced to work, so the work is not truly theirs, and it belongs to those who force them. 3. Workers are alienated from the chance to determine what it is to be human. For example, workers forced to work for polluting factories are destroying their own world. Would they choose this kind of use of their labor? 4. Workers are alienated from each other. Because they are forced to compete in a labor marketplace and work becomes soulless, interaction is limited, and integration of minds for a genuine or graceful purpose is stunted. Workers are alienated from their essence as in their humanity. Marx wrote that human beings are potentially free because they are species, beings, and insofar as they are not actually free, they are alienated. Freedom to Marx meant that people are free, as a group, if they can do and choose deliberately how to organize their social and economic institutions with a view to making themselves and future generations into the most desirable sorts of persons. But because of the nature of capitalism, this kind of social planning is impossible. Decisions about how social wealth will be spent are made entirely by capitalists. Under capitalism, individuals are forced to be utility makers, maximizers, and do not even consider the possibility that life could be otherwise. People, mostly the capitalists, have personal freedom, but nobody has complete freedom. Thus, capitalism alienates the capitalists as well as the workers. We are forced to be one particular, not especially admirable, kind of human being, the kind who competes against her fellows in an increasingly commodified world. Capitalism can always boast it is the best system for fulfilling people's desires, but because of the alienation of all humans under it, those desires are, pretty, are petty and not really worth satisfying. They rely on others being exploited and downtrodden, and they can't even be fully satisfied satisfied because capitalism has to keep producing new needs and desires. For Marx, alienation is objective rather than subjective and thus cannot be removed by altering the attitudes of alienated people and conversely those alienated might be perfectly content because they are unaware of their alienation and distracted by other things. A Marxian, a Marxian example would be religion. This alienation is dehumanizing in the sense that it denies humans several things that are distinctly human, such as the potential for self-realization. It prohibits us from seeing that an authentic self exists because psychological or spiritual self-striving cannot occur or it is hindered. The opportunity to shape human nature intentionally rather than have it be shaped by impersonal market forces in the chaotic market economy and genuine appropriation rather than the bastardized having that is all capitalism allows. I think the piece Marx, Capitalism and Alienation makes a strong argument. One can see that this argument continues to be relevant today. I've talked to many people who feel totally detached from their work and only do it because they have to, to obtain what they need, shelter, food, etc. The majority of jobs I've had I sought nothing from but the paycheck. There is a total lack of connection to what is being done. In layman's terms, so many people are only seeking an end and will suffer through whatever means to get there. A value system based on materialism weakens what can be felt and what is fleeting or what was of the earth be before the production of said values, literally and figuratively. This